Welcome to uh, today's Business and Technology Academic and Career Pathway, or ACP, workshop. The focus of today is on automotive technology and design. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn it over to our automotive technology faculty who will do introductions and give an overview of the department. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Katzen. Uh, I am the uh, currently department chair of automotive technology. Uh, the department chair position is a rotating one. So any of the full-time faculty are available to answer any of the questions you may have. Um, I'm an ASC certified master technician, also a California licensed small check instructor. So we teach the small classes, we'll get to those later. Um, and also a certified auto detailer. Uh, we have our upper detailing class and there's certifications uh, for that also. Steve Vale, our other full-time faculty member, ASC certified technician, also certified in hybrid. We offer hybrid courses. Arnaldo Wims, ASC certified master technician. He also has hybrid and diesel training also. Hey, hi, how are you doing? My name is Arnaldo Williams and I'm a full faculty member at here at Mira Costa College Automotive Department. Um, question that was brought up is why did I decide to follow the automotive career path? And um, I think the career is like a sword that would allow you to move on into life, battling the dragons and everything. So that's how I perceive a career path, you know? It will allow you to be successful, to overcome things that will come up. Right. And I also, at the same time, I tried to find a career path that was going to be as flexible as possible. So, uh, and things that I enjoy, things that I like to do, that's, I think, really important for anyone who's trying to find a, a, a career path, find an element that you enjoy. Keep in mind, you're going to be doing that for 30 years, 40 years, who knows, maybe more. So... Take that in consideration. I, since little, I like to take things apart. I like to see how things work. So that is the fact that drew, it drove me into uh, learning automotive. And then also another aspect of automotive is the fact that I can go anywhere in the world and I can find a job. Technology wise, the car works the same here in the United States, Germany, Israel, South America, Central America is the same thing. Um, I don't have to get any recertification or anything. I have the knowledge, I did know how. Uh, it gives me also the opportunity to be able to do work on my own. You know, if I decided to go and then work on my, on my own company, it is easier because I don't need a, a then whatever I need, I will be able to do on my own. So it gives a little bit of flexibility. And lastly, but not least, I don't have to pay anyone to fix up my cars, you know? It's getting pretty expensive as well. And uh, it's something I enjoy. Um, I think anything that you decide yourself to follow the career path, it has to have some rewarding aspect of it. Something that when you are done, you feel inside. Wow, I did it, it's good. Um, all the full-time instructors, as I said, 30 years experience. Uh, and uh, our adjunct instructors are industry professionals which is nice because uh, they can offer a, a real uh, different perspective. They're working in the field and, and they're great to have. So here's a, an overview of our, our program. Uh, and um, there are different um, uh, courses and certificates to fit everyone's uh, needs and, um, and, and, uh, and schedules. Uh, but uh, we offer everything from individual courses where you could uh, build that into certificates of proficiency as well as certificates of achievement. Um, and a list of, uh, of certificates here. Um, um, proficiency would be a couple of courses. Uh, and a certificate of achievement would be a, a larger block of courses. And, uh, and then of course, um, uh, the, our automotive technology certificate of achievement can be built into an associate's degree. I will just say one thing quickly, uh, the certificates of proficiency are nice uh, to get as you're working towards a certificate of achievement or an associate's degree. And what I mean by that is many of our students will um, uh, be looking for employment or looking for a job, and, uh, but then they may not have something physically that they could show a potential employer on a job interview. So we like to encourage our, our students to get that certificate of proficiency uh, to show that they've taken a couple of classes and passed um, and then, uh, then they can take it and, and physically show show a potential employer um, that, that they've taken some classes and gone so far. Uh, one thing I've I've noticed, uh, and uh, to many students, is that they um, 
you guys may not exactly know how to find the program on our uh, on the AmeriCoast website. And it's uh, very user friendly. Uh, so what you just want to do is go to the AmeriCoast homepage in the search box, search uh, automotive technology. And then this page will pop up. And then uh, down uh, we see is automotive technology, AmeriCoast College. Click on that and it'll take you to our, uh, our, our certificates and degree pages, individual courses. Just navigate through there and and uh, look at look at the tabs. Um, I'll talk about our industry partnerships and certifications. Uh, we have, a, have an ongoing re relationship with Nissan Corporation. Uh, Nissan Corporation, they donate training vehicles. Uh, we were uh, uh, talking to Nissan uh, recently about getting a full uh, a training program, although they have put the brakes on that at the moment, although we're working to work with um, other manufacturers. So we don't have to work with only one. Uh, part of working with the manufacturers uh, is you uh, have ASE certification, not just, which is for the shop. And what that means is that uh, they would look at our facility and uh, inspect our training areas, inspect our tools. Uh, of course, uh, certain, uh, we all have to hold uh, certain certifications, meaning all the instructors have to have particular ASE certifications. And then our a program would be ASE certified and which is a requirement to work with uh, manufacturers on a full training level, okay? And we're in the process of doing that now. Um, a student success, you know, and, and just for the moment here, um, uh, I didn't tell a little bit about myself uh, and, I, and, and I, I, I missed that cue there, but um, I, I am, a, I guess, a student success story because I went through the automotive program in 1990 and 91 and uh, with the intent to open up a shop of some sort. And uh, it was an excellent uh, experience first visiting Miracosta College and seeing the program that many years ago. I really liked what was being doing, what was being done here. I liked the, uh, the, the teacher, I liked the courses and, uh, and the flexible schedule. Uh, and so I went through the entire um, uh, program uh, after two semesters, of course, it was the, the certificates were a little simpler then. I had a certificate in automotive technology and then also I um, uh, 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 got a smog license, and then I went and started my own business called Inspectacar, where I was an automotive consultant. Uh, so I didn't have enough money to open up a shop, and so I would. Uh, my business was about going out and going to car dealers and car lots and private parties, and I would inspect a used car before someone bought the car. And it was really interesting because I was able to utilize all of my mechanical skills and my diagnostic knowledge and basically tell that person, yes, it's, you should, this is a good car to buy or don't buy. And um, it was extremely rewarding because I was able to help people as well as make a living. And, um, and so anyway, and then from their transition to teaching in here at Miracosta College, and it was, it's a, it was a nice journey. A few uh, quick sex, success stories. Uh, Tevin uh, Tagarchi, excuse me, uh, he, he's a former student, owns Kevin's Auto Care in San Marcos. I have some links here. If, if, if uh, I don't know if Annie, you want to click on one real quick. Um, we could, we could, if that we can even pull one up. Uh, and, uh, you know, a student uh, wanted to start a shop, had a dream. Um, and uh, it, oh, it may not let you click it, but uh, we, we could just, uh, we don't need to see the site, but he's got a nice little shop in San Marcos and, and uh, helps people and, 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 and fixes the community members' cars and just good business. Andrew Sturk, uh, he's a student and uh, former owner of North County Detail. So we started North County Detail in Oceanside uh, and, um, and did a great business uh, auto detail shop. And then he sold the business. So wow, he built it up, sold it. Now he's working in the detail industry. He's doing great. Elizabeth Beeson, this is one of our most recent ones. Um, single mom working at a movie theater, closed due to COVID. She landed a uh, job with Premier Chevrolet in the parts department. So I always like this one for a few different reasons. And, and that's because, uh, you know, taking an automotive class isn't always about, you know, going out there and fixing cars. Uh, about one in eight jobs is related to the automotive industry in some way, shape, or form. So because of that, uh, you know, I mean, for example, Elizabeth, you know, she, she was, did great fixing cars, but what they needed was someone at the time who could handle the parts department. You know, knows what a spark plug is versus, uh, versus the fan belt and a hose and knows her way around. So that, that was a skill. And I love my favorite saying, which I like to tell all my students is skills pay bills. 
And so, wow, you know, um, these skills we gather are like tools in a toolbox, I tell them. And you never know when you need that particular tool. You carry it around and sure comes that opportunity and you have it. So I always tell people you can never have that too many skills and get out there and, and, uh, and, and take as many courses and build them up. So uh, some great courses to check out. Uh, first course, Auto 102, Preventive Maintenance. Um, this is a first great first class to take because it's bumper to bumper. And as a matter of fact, Auto 102 contains a little bit about every course you see below there. A little bit on, on detailing, a little bit on basic end performance, electric, suspension, brakes. And so if you're starting your automotive education, your journey in that, I always say take 102. Um, and because the question every uh, student has after they take uh, one or two automotive courses is they always ask, well, what next course should I take? And the next course I tell them if they've taken 102 is say, take a course that's related to the thing you liked most about Auto 102. So if you liked electrical, take an electrical course. If you like brakes, take a brake course. Because I think when, when we're happy and comfortable, we will succeed. And, and I just speak from my own experience. When I was a student in Miracosta, I, did, I, I excelled in the engine performance side of my, uh, my education. And when I took the suspension and brake side, I was good, but I didn't, I, I didn't really warm up to it as much and I didn't, didn't do as well. And so I, I just, but however, I had the success of the engine performance side to really boost my interest, my self-esteem to, and, and it really helped me to want to learn more about a particular subject that I really wasn't the most interested in. You know, suspension and brakes is very straightforward, uh, take apart, put together, very visual, um, uh, engine performance is more theoretical, uh, more, more, um, uh, a lot of critical thinking, and, uh, and I kind of had a, a bent towards that. They're all important for total auto repair, but uh, just I always like to tell people, take the courses you like to take first. So great first courses to check out. And, um, and that's about all I have to say about automotive. We'd love to see you. If you have any questions, please contact me. Uh, send me an email, and, uh, and we hope to see you in our program. Thank you so much.